It's over, Johnny. Cue the intro. Journey to Health Collaboration, version 3, with your host, Sergeant Fit. New year, new graphics. Yeah. Spared no expense. Stay frosty, my friend. Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to another edition of Journey to Health Collaboration version 3.0. I'm your host, Sergeant Fit, and this is week 12. It's over, Johnny. Another collaboration in the bank. If you're new to this series, it's a collaboration more than 20 people sharing their health, fitness, or weight loss journey by answering a new question each week and posting their response on YouTube. In total, there are 12 questions, and this is question number 12. But before we get to that question, don't forget to check the description box below and view the videos of the other participants. Leave them a like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Show them some love, please. They will definitely appreciate it. So let's get to the final question. Question number 12. And out of all the questions, I think this one is the easiest one. The question is, do you meal prep? If so, how do you meal prep in a typical week? My answer, I do not meal prep. Nobody beats me in the kitchen. It's not that I think there's anything wrong with it. I just don't do it. This sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. I enjoy preparing my meal fresh each meal. It's just what I like. I think it's the ritual of actually preparing the food that I enjoy. It's almost like a Zen thing. Can you hear me? Are you in a trance? And because I'm rarely in a hurry to eat anything, I always have plenty of time to prepare my food, cook it, and then eat it. But hey, if you're into food prepping, more power to you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I know. <laughs> A lot of you guys out there are busy and you have to meal prep for the week. I understand that and I applaud you for that. It's just not me. But let me add this. Meal prep does work for people that have a hard time sticking to their diet because it adds structure to their meal planning. I do it a little bit differently. I mentioned this in the previous video. My daughter and I, every Friday, we sit down together and we plan out what our meals are going to be for the week. And then Saturday morning, I go to the store and pick up the groceries for the week. We shop once a week, and that's usually on a Saturday, and that is it. We don't go back to the grocery store for anything. But for those people that don't like doing it that way, and you need some sort of structure or planning to stay focused on your diet, then I highly recommend food prepping. And especially if you're a very busy individual, this definitely will help you out. Now you may ask yourself, why is weight training so important? At least, why it's important to me. Well, weight training helps you to create lean muscle mass. And why is that important? For every pound of flab you turn into muscle, you burn an additional 14 calories a day. Nothing more to say about that. So hit those weights. And that's another Sergeant Fit Fit tip out of Sergeant Fit's Book of Wisdom. Not only does this conclude another addition to the Journey to Health Collaboration 3.0, but it concludes the entire series. Yes, it's over. It's over enough! Enough! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, hit that notification button. Please don't forget to subscribe like, share, you know the drill, all the above. Also, don't forget to check out all the other participants. They are listed below in the description. Check out their videos, show them some love, give them a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Same thing for those guys. I'm sure they will appreciate it. So in conclusion, as always, everybody, eat clean, train insane, make good choices, and always stay fit. Until next video, everybody, Sergeant Fit out. Why are you still here? It's over. Click on another video, you know you want to. Or subscribe. Bye.
I'll see you later. 600, 2, 600, 3.